Hello, we're back again. My name is Dan Buzzo. I'm going to be walking through another creative coding uh, tutorial using Open Framework C++ Toolkit as part of the Creative Technology Toolkit series with the Creative Technology Master Program at UE in Bristol. This week we're going to be looking at using an Arduino interface board, which is a small microcontroller board like this. There are many uh, copies in compatible versions, but we're going to be using an Arduino Duo Milanova, which I've rigged up to a little circuit board uh, with an array of lights and a small rotary potentiometer control. And we're going to look at how we can get physical input and output from open frameworks over the serial port. And this will apply to all manner of other serial devices and uh, Arduino compatible devices, etc. Before we start into it, I want to talk very, very quickly about what the Arduino actually is. If you go to arduino.cc, there's a, a fantastic website that describes what the Arduino is, where you can download the online tools and um, the editor and a range of examples for working with the Arduino. But essentially, it's a small open source electronics platform uh, that you can write code for put code onto and have the device run independently just being powered by a battery. You can also, as we're doing in the example that we have here today, have it plugged into a host computer, a Mac, PC, a Linux machine, and use it as an interface board to be able to control um, relays, lights, electric motors, and also read information from sensors, both analog and digital. So it does a, a serial digital or, um, a digital analog conversion to allow us to interface with the outside world from within Open Frameworks or within Arduino. So today we're going to run a small sketch on the Arduino, which is included in the source code uh, for this example. And then I'm going to show you very briefly how you can use the uh, serial capabilities within Open Frameworks to talk to devices on the serial port. The Arduino being one that's a useful example, but pretty much any other device that will talk to a serial port on your computer will allow you to communicate with that from Open Frameworks. So I've already downloaded the editor for my um, Arduino. I have it plugged in via a serial cable to the machine that I'm running on here, and I can see from this grind light it's powered up. On the side of it, I have this simple piece of breadboard, but you could put cables all over the place. This is a, from a, a very simple kit where I have it, the Arduino itself glued down with a baseboard, and then I have a breadboard, and I have some LEDs and some resistors to uh, deal with power differences, and a simple sensor here. <clears throat> so essentially what I'm doing is providing power to the LEDs from the power rail on the Arduino, and connecting the other pin to one of my output pins here on the Arduino itself, which I can switch on and off from within Open Frameworks, telling the Arduino what to do. So that's very, very simply what we're doing here. But this could be extended out to say, instead of using LEDs, I want to control a relay, which will allow me to switch much higher current, to switch on and off a, a washing machine, to control a larger electric motor, to control a pneumatic pump, to control any household item. If I wanted to make a, an orchestra of uh, food blenders, perhaps I could use it, uh, control it via the Arduino and an array of sensors that will switch, uh, uh, sorry, an array of relays that would switch the low voltage from the Arduino board, independently of the high voltage that we need for mains voltage to control any kind of device. So this is a really interesting way of getting away from just using the keyboard and building things on screen to turn your open frameworks or your creative coding work into something much more physical. So <clears throat> on the GitHub website for UE Creative Technology Toolkit sessions, there's an array of different sessions. We're now at session seven. You can download this from the URL that's going to be on screen now. And uh, if I come to the source code that I've already downloaded and I've put into my Open Frameworks apps, my apps folder, I can see here is the CT toolkit sessions. And in session seven, I have a standard Open Frameworks style project with one additional folder, which is the OF Arduino sketch. And this is a simple piece of code that we're going to push 
onto the Arduino board that will allow it to talk to open frameworks and vice versa. So very quickly, if I double click this, I've already downloaded the simple Arduino editor, which is a, a fairly high level scripting language. The script looks a little bit like this. Now I'm not gonna go into detail about programming the Arduino. It's, it's very straightforward and it's very friendly. And if you're getting on with C++, you will recognize most of this straight away. All of the documentation about how to write sketches for Arduino is online at arduino.cc. So go and have a look. The first thing that we do <clears throat> is we declare a couple of variables and these are indicating what pins different LEDs are. So we don't have to remember what they call a magic number. We know that when we talk about an LED pin or a green LED pin or a red LED pin, these are the pins that they're, they're numbered as. But if we want to change them, we can see everything's declared clearly up at the top. Very similar to Open Frameworks, we have a setup loop. And what we do is we tell the Arduino to start listening on the serial port at 9600 board, which is the speed rate of the communication going backwards and forward. And we set up what the output mode of the LED pins are going to be. <clears throat> then we have here a continuous loop where the first thing that we do is ask the Arduino to read from the analog input, which is going to give us our sensor value, which is this rotary control that you saw on the breadboard, which will give us a range. And then we're going to see if the serial port is available. If it is, we're going to ask it to read what's coming from the serial port. So this is information that we're going to send from Open Frameworks to the Arduino board. Um, and we're going to read for a couple of different statements. If we send a letter A from Open Frameworks to the Arduino, what we want to do is write to the digital pin what we've called the green LED pin, which is actually declared here. It's pin 12. We want it to go high, a switch on, delay 500 milliseconds, and then go low, switch off, which means it will just flash that LED, or it would send a, a command out to a, a relay, etc. And we do exactly the same, but for a different pin, for letter B, and for letter C. And then, at the end, we take the value that we got from our rotary sensor, the sensor value, and we write it to the serial pin, which means we're going to send a message from the Arduino into the computer via the serial port to Open Frameworks. So, what I've done already <clears throat> is I've prepared this sketch and I push it down to the Arduino and it runs on the Arduino processor itself. So that's all set up. And I'm going to go to open frameworks and have a look at the code. So I'm going to open up session 7. I'm launching here again in Xcode, but you could be using Visual Studio Code, uh, um, Qt Toolkit, or a range of other uh, editors. Here I'm working on a Mac, but this will work equally well on Linux and Windows. And I look at my source folder, and in the header file, just for convenience, I'm using a true type font called font, and then I'm setting up an OF serial object. I'm going to call it serial, then I arrange a string to put our sensor value into, and then a message string, and an integer to run in our main program. And in the CPP file, we have a setup, which is actually pretty straightforward. The first thing I'm going to do is set the background to be black, and then I say I want the OF log level to be verbose, means it's going to be very talkative and tell me lots of errors if there are any, or tell me the status of the devices. And then our serial object, our open framework serial object that we uh, defined earlier, I'm going to ask it to do something that it knows how to do, which is to list all the devices. And these will list out in my debug window just down here. And then I'm going to make a vector of serial devices and use that in a minute to set up uh, the device that I want to use. So I set up an integer called board, which is the speed rate that we're going to ask the serial uh, interface to communicate at. And then I use the setup method 
of our serial object to set up a unique ID for this particular device so it knows that it's talking over the USB serial to this device at a particular speed and hopefully we should have bidirectional communication through, in this instance, our USB cable out to our Arduino. In update loop, I'm going to say if the serial port is available, uh, sorry, if the serial port is not available, then use this text and put it into our string of sensor value, and it will just say, I can't communicate with the Arduino, and I know that something's gone wrong. And if not, <clears throat> if the serial's available, go to the serial and read a byte from it. Read a piece of information from it, put it into our integer variable, and then go and get the value that we're getting from the sensor. And then I'm going to put it out using the console out, C out. You can see I'm using the, uh, the arrows to pipe these together to say, give me the sensor value, and then end L, end the line. So in the debug um, console, it'll just print it one line after another rather than a great big long string. And then in my draw, I'm going to set the <coughs> color to be black. I'm going to put a message on the screen, which is just a piece of debug text. And then using the font that I loaded earlier, because it's slightly prettier, I'm going to tell it to draw this message on the screen, which is just key instructions. And then I'm going to tell it to print the sensor value, or the text sensor value, and the actual sensor value that we put into that variable earlier on, which hopefully will be something sensible coming back from the Arduino, or it will be our debug text that we have here, Arduino error. Now, the only other part of this program is using, uh, in the, uh, the function for key press watching, we're using the switch statement, which allows us to take one input and evaluate it in a number of different ways, rather than using the linking um, if, then, else, if, then, else, if, then, else. And I'm going to say, if we have an A key pressed on the keyboard of the computer, write a byte to the serial object, A, and it's going to give us a debug to say it should be flashing the green LED. So when we uh, press the A key on our keyboard, it should send that character to the serial port and the Arduino code. Let's flip to that. We'll hopefully read that. If the in byte is A, it'll digital write the green LED pin to be high, switch it on, delay 500 milliseconds, and then tell it be switched off. So when I press the A key on my keyboard, Open Frameworks will send a message to the serial port out to the Arduino, and the Arduino will be listening in this loop and do the instruction. And the same with the B key, and the same with the C key. So let's compile this and run it. And I'm going to drink more coffee. So we have our key. Uh, information on screen from our message, and if I press the A key, I should see a light flashing, and the B key, I see the red flashing, and the C key, I see the white flashing. And now I can turn my rotary controller backwards and forwards, and you see the value going up and down. And that value from the rotary controller that I'm using on the Arduino, I could make it control now anything, the volume of a sound, the position of an object, uh, the size of a mesh, um, some other input, even using it to produce uh, inputs for generating text, whatever else we may desire. And the output could do exactly the same. This is a really, really simple introduction to using the Arduino with open frameworks but it's a, a really nice start because it says <clears throat> not only can I use the keyboard for input and sound output and video output from within things like open frameworks, I can also do physical computing where I don't necessarily see the computer itself.
So I don't necessarily have to use video output. I don't have to use sound output. I don't have to use screen output. I can actually do completely physical computing where I'm bringing information in from all kinds of sensors and then being able to send information out to almost any electrical device that you might be able to think of. Whether you want to flash the lights in a room, whether you want to put uh, vibration um, motors onto tables, uh, any other kind of thing, limited almost only by your imagination. And the fact uh, um, that we are able to do this with open source tools like Open Frameworks and the Arduino project uh, is just absolutely fantastic. And these boards retail very, very cheaply, which allows you to get involved in complicated physical computing really, really easily. So that's a very fast introduction to using the Arduino and Open Frameworks using the serial object. You can see more examples at openframeworks.cc and you can find out more things to do with Open Frameworks Creative Coding as part of the Creative Coding Toolkit online. So I'll look forward to seeing you in another video.